Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Galant Bodybuilding, Mountain. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about super high frequency training and some of the things that I have found recently by doing whole body workouts almost every day. And of course I still have a day or two off a week. Okay, so those of you guys that are all nervous about not taking days off, I do have that. But just to outline what I'm doing for those of you who are new to this channel or maybe haven't heard any of my previous videos, um, what I'm doing lately is that I'm doing a variable amount of effort in my workouts. So sometimes I'm doing easy workouts, not even going to failure, just maybe doing a couple sets. And then other days I may be doing, you know, four or five sets, or I may be taking sets to absolute failure uh, at different types of rep ranges. Sometimes 15 reps, 10 reps, 20 reps, like whatever, right? But I'm basically taking the muscle to failure. But because I'm doing a lot of easier workouts, one could look at a lot of those workouts as just glorified warm-ups for those more intense workouts. But one thing that I have found is that by just constantly saturating the area with blood, I'm not only feeling better during my intense workouts, but surprisingly enough, I'm finding that because I'm enjoying the workouts so much and I'm always calibrated to the workouts, I'm actually getting, uh, let's just say, more intensity more often. So because I'm enjoying the workout so much, it doesn't take me any motivation to show up in the gym. I'm just showing up and saying, okay, it's just gonna be an easy workout. Maybe I'll, I'll train hard with some legs, but maybe my shoulders and all the rest of it, I'll train pretty easy. And um, a lot of times I end up training harder than I expected and I feel better. But what I'm doing is I'm allowing the body first and foremost to tell me how it feels and what it wants to do instead of me imposing it imposing my will on there. Now, of course this works for me because I'm not a lazy bastard. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like one of those guys that is fighting just to get the motivation to show up and do a workout. I'm already disciplined there. So I'm being honest when I'm actually listening to the body. I'm not just listening to my laziness. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a naturally lazy person, then maybe you need more of a structure to stick to. But in the end, you have to go from a template to listening to the body. At some point, this, this relationship has to happen where your awareness expands, where you start to, um, let's just say, be with the body and listen to it and push the body when it is receptive to being pushed, but then also backing off when it's not necessarily the right timing. And, and it does take you some time to learn this, but it's not dictated by laziness or motivation or anything. It's dictated by practicality and what actually works. So what I've found is that I've been dropping a bit of body fat and I have been watching my diet a little bit more lately, like cutting the carbs out at night and having more protein instead of having any sort of like uh, carb meals and stuff. I'm not super low carbs. I'm still at about 200 grams a day uh, for carbs, sometimes 100 to 150 and then sometimes 250, 300. But at the same time, I'm not uh, having carbs every single meal. At the end of the day, I may have just a can of salmon or a couple chicken breasts or something like that. But what I'm noticing is that because I'm active more often with the weight training, I'm not feeling overwhelmingly pressured into doing heavy weights and pushing the body when it's not ready for it. Uh, I'm kind of compromising. Instead of taking a day off, I'm just doing something easy. And because I'm doing something easy, I'm still burning those calories and I'm still maintaining a good pump and so forth. So I've noticed that I'm dropping a bit of body fat. I'm noticing that my strength is still good, even though I'm doing a lot of easy workouts. And in some areas, it feels like it's actually stronger, depending on the day, of course, right? And, and what I ate the day before. But I feel like um, I'm, I'm actually putting on some muscularity in certain areas. And also because I'm using lighter weight, I've felt a bit freer even in experimenting more often with some movements that sometimes I have a tendency to do to discard altogether. You know, there, there are probably some of those movements that you have done that you're like, ah, you know, this is probably not the best movement or at least I, I can't really feel it. Uh, and I, or at least I can't really progress with heavier weight so I should just drop the movement. But meanwhile, that movement might be practical if you stay with the lighter weight and do it a bit more often or find that sweet spot, you know what I'm saying? So because I'm using a, a lot of lighter weights when I'm doing a lot more frequent workouts, it encourages even more experimentation with certain movements that I've fallen out of love with. And because of that, I've started to fall back in love with certain movements and found that they were actually more effective 
than I thought. Um, so the tricep kickbacks where I showed you guys a few videos ago where I'm leaning off just to the side. So it's more like a kick to the side instead of a kick back, right? So it's kind of a hybrid of that. Uh, I'm noticing that I'm getting a lot more activation in the tricep in a different area than say doing the standard skull crushers. So I'm feeling like it's helping bring up a weak link there. I'm also finding that uh, with bicep curls, because I'm really experimenting with leaning over or doing narrower grip and stuff, I'm also getting a little bit of a bicep feel that's taking a lot of the shoulders out of the movement because I, I'm not really feeling pressure to use 95 pounds or 135 pounds for barbell curls. I'm just doing 65 pounds or 45 pounds and just repping out, but using, but using different angles that really accentuate the, the stress on the bicep and take out the front delt. So the reason why I really like the super high frequency is because, because you have the cascading uh, intensity or volume, right? Uh, you have this freedom of creativity to, to play around. And, and this is my last point. When you are free to play, you naturally make discoveries. Some of the best discoveries ever made were when somebody just used their enthusiasm to play a little bit without a preconceived idea of where that play was going to end up. You know, some great stories sometimes come from that, sometimes some great music, and sometimes some great scientific discoveries. And it's also a little, there's, there's also a little bit of that in your training. So what I'm saying is, make sure when you train, you have a certain amount of play time, where you're just playing around with the weights, just having a good time, just finding ways to enjoy this process and the connection with the body. And I guarantee you, you'll make some discoveries that you, uh, probably would have glossed over if you're too stuck in certain strict programs or uh, ways that you've been programmed, uh, metaphorically and literally programmed into, you know what I'm saying? So play is a way of breaking that programming and allowing that um, inventor side of you to come out and, and also to learn uh, what is specific for your body that, that might be breaking the standard mold in the bodybuilding world and therefore you can get more results, right? So that, that's what I've found from doing super high frequency. Uh, I'm really finding this. Now, if you look at my super high frequency program on my website, it's slightly different than what I'm doing right now. It's a little bit more intense, but with less volume and so forth. Uh, but if you mix up the super high frequency with the body bliss program, right? So some days doing the body bliss and then some days doing the super high frequency, that would kind of be a good way of, uh, describing what it is that I'm doing. So yeah, if, if you like, if you want to experiment with those programs, you can, they're on my website. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope this helps you out in your training. Remember to play, remember to experiment and have a good time and mountain. So thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalgallantbodybuilding.com and thanks to the patient supporters where I am doing the podcast every week where we talk about this kind of stuff and take care for now. Mountain.